Back now on the morning show with Matt's our wise guy. We are talking turkey this morning, and I never knew that a physicist or a is that what you are, a physicist? Yes. All right. Occasionally. A physicist, a wise guy, could teach me how to cook a turkey correctly. So, how well, do you do it? <laughs> well, I don't know if I can or not, but it was there was there's a magazine in the physics trade really? called Physics Today. Yes, and a few years ago, uh, somebody wrote a very nice article about what it takes to have the best tasting turkey. Okay. okay. And the key, in, and the guy's name was Harold McGee, and it was back in well, about five years ago. And uh, so I read this article again, it was very good. And what he claims, and it sounds plausible to me, and since he's sort of a physicist, you know, I, I give him the <laughs> benefit of the doubt. And he said that it's temperature is, is the key thing. Okay, okay. so what you want to do is you want to get the breast meat of the turkey up to about 160 degrees, 155 to 160, and you want to get the dark meat up to about 180 degrees. Okay. Okay. Now, this is hard to do because the breast meat tends to cook faster. It tends to, if you just plop the thing in the oven, the breast meat would get as hot as everything else and it would be sort of overcooked and dry. Yeah, and or that's if, the complaint a lot of times. Right, or if you, if you try to make the breast meat just right, then the dark meat would be a little chewy. It wouldn't be quite cooked right. Right. Okay, so this guy had this brilliant plan. Okay, so this is what he said, and it sounds plausible to me. So he says, when you thaw the turkey, okay, you have to thaw it properly, then you put ice packs on the turkey breast. Oh, that okay? makes sense. Okay. Right. So then, so that basically when you're done with the thawing procedure, you, the breast part of the turkey is maybe at a 40 degrees or so, and the rest is maybe 60 degrees. Yeah. Then when you pop this thing in the oven, right, the breasts start kind of behind. So they have this catching up to do, so mm -hmm. it takes them a little longer. So by the time everything is cooked, the breasts are at the right temperature Everything's the way and the be. dark meat is at the right. Okay, so that, that doesn't sound so bad. But he also says, well, what you should really do is you should not stuff the turkey. What? Now, people aren't going to go for that. No, Because not. people like stuffing. But what I've read in other places is that there's different ways that you can actually do the stuffing. You can start the cooking without any stuffing inside. Yeah, yeah. And that's not a bad idea anyways because... The danger is that you have bacteria inside the turkey and the middle part never really quite gets cooked enough. And then it gets on your stuffing and then you're eating that. And then you're eating stuffing. this bacteria. Yeah. And it turns out, and I, I did some research on this, on bacteria uh, preparing for today. And there's something they call the danger zone. Have you heard of the danger mm -hmm. zone? It is between 41 and 140 degrees. So if, if you want to have everything cooked above 140 degrees, okay. that's why they say always cook 150, 160, something like that. And so if you stand the danger, if you don't thaw it properly and you stuff all the stuff inside. So what's his, his different way of approaching this? Well, so he basically, he just, he's worried about temperature only. And so he says you don't stuff it and all this. So I did a little more research on stuffing because you mm. got to have stuffing. Right. You want and there's a, taste and everything. a fascinating recipe from Portugal, mm. okay, where what they do is they, they insert the stuffing between the skin and the breast. Yep. And so you, that basically makes the breast cook slower, too, and you get stuffing. So I thought that was pretty brilliant. Okay, so you're packing ice around the turkey right. breast, and you're also uh, putting your spice in between the skin and the breast there. Okay, right? exactly yeah. right. Okay, we're about out of time. Okay, then we'll come back and we'll talk about cooking time, because that's kind of fascinating, too. And I still want to know why turkeys don't fly. Oh, well, that has to do with cooking time. Why turkeys don't fly? Basically. What? You'll see. Okay. Matt, I have a picture of you. Do we still have that? Matt sings. This was a charity event where Matt and I both sang, and we showed you the video of me, and I couldn't let you get away with this and couldn't let you come on TV without showing. And it was very good, too. What song was it? Roadhouse it's Blues. It's been a couple of weeks. Right. <laughs> no, it was very good. Anyway, thanks for doing the charity event. Thanks for being here this morning. We're back at 725 with Why Chickens Don't Fly and Why It Has to Do Something with Temperature. Turkeys. Right. Turkeys. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Here's uh, Matt's contact information if you want to get in touch with him. Give him an email. Robert, what's going on in the weather?